Sup guys, Heeking here bringing you uh, this week's manga review on the latest Boku no Hero aka My Hero Academia chapter chapter 351 so there was a break last week and now we got this week's chapter and it's gonna be a break next week uh, what is going on here? I mean, Horigoshi's like, well, I'm planning to end uh, Boku no Hero this year, but he's going on constant breaks, like, dude, come on. Firstly, I don't mind it because it means I get to do these videos <laughs> less, you know what I mean? I can focus on reviews and other ones. Right now, this week, I've got like, what, four reviews trying to get out? So that is very hectic for me and my schedule. It's a nice way to pace it and even out. But still, it's like, dude, you're taking your time, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it makes me it makes me very curious like how long this is gonna last. I mean with the way things are going it's it's gonna be a long while before we get to the uh, final fight if you will. Uh but yeah. Moving on, we left off with uh, the setup for the uh, Shoto versus Derby fight, and we continue on from that with basically more talking and more setup for the fight. We do get a bit of fight in here, but it's way more sort of uh, philosophical in terms of uh, more of a mental kind of than more of a physical one, if that makes sense. But yeah, we start the chapter with uh, the explanation of what uh, Fire Flash Fist is. So, special move, fire fa fire Flash Fire Fist. It is, re it is performed by raising one's internal temperature and, and accumulating as much heat as humanly possible to then release it in an incredibly strong burst. This technique was honed by a young Endeavor and it is considered the apex of fire moves. Uh, excer excerpt from the Hero's Guidebook, the number one teachings. So yeah, uh, at the time of developing this technique, Endeavor felt like he had reached the limit of his potential. However, the heat from those flames would end up warping the future he dreamt of, just as a shimmer of hot air. So we get this big panel of Endeavor, top of a mountain, I think, where he went to train. Chapter is called Twin Flashing Flames, and we get that panel of uh, Shota and a panel of Darby just like burning up, both facing each other down. And uh, yeah, Darby's still on top of the statue. You've got the three other sidekicks, basically, uh, pushing the flames back essentially using what abilities they have to stop the flames from reaching shelter and uh, Darby's just like uh, getting getting you know getting that out of my, off my chest got me fired up again thanks for listening to my little rant uh, so yeah he Darby's just raising his temperature to to the maximum at this point so it, it's basically a case of yeah he's like he's basically on end of ours level and he, he's melting the statue for Christ's sake and Shota's like I'll be the one who stops you and Darby's like don't get it twisted I've been preparing for years for the day I'll murder you uh, it, you know it, it all began from the moment I tried to regain my power all I knew was how to ramp up my heat you've got more talent than me those words made me feel like I could do anything my so yeah, the camera cut off there for a second. Uh, so where was I? I asked, it all began from the moment I tried to regain my power. All I knew was how to ramp up my heat. You've got more talent than me. Those words made me feel like I could do anything. My limitations disappeared along with my body's ability to feel pain. So I specialized myself in huge energy outbursts copying him. Flash fire fist. You're a fan of all my Shoto? <laughs> So yeah, we get this nice big panel where he's just bursting with the flames. And obviously the sidekicks, you know, I think Burning's like just shouting like, watch out. And then uh, Darby does a move called Hell Spider, which just has flames just going. I think it's a sort of a similar power that Endeavor has used before, but flames just sort of shoot out from all directions, like freaking straight lines, if you will, sort of trying to ensnare and engulf them. There's a, no a normal there with like spikes sticking out that sort of gets caught in the middle, or at least the flames are somewhat avoiding him, but the, the other flames are trying to hit all the uh, heroes, basically. Um... I think he dies in the middle of this as well, like he's trying to avoid the flames and then yeah, this is Endeavor's move isn't it and Ida's just like he's seen this and he's like but it's so much bigger and uh, crudely contained and then he just shouts out for Todoroki-kun and then uh, yeah Darby ends up, what we see at first is that the, the sidekicks are basically trying to keep the flames back from Shota so he can build up his, his attack basically and they're like Shota-kun you ready and he's like yeah let's go but before he can finish his sentence you've got Darby just flashing, flying, jumping, whatever, like appearing behind him in from uh, in his blind spot, basically. 
and the others are too late to react. And Darby's just like, there's something I want you to tell me, Shota. How on earth did you have the patience? And he ends up attacking him, punching him, basically, with such a fury that it just pushes him down to the ground so he can't use his attack. And he's like, to stay hold up with all those pathetic civilians with all that was going on. Your end of us, son, my brother, you're a worthless mix of ice and fire. Have you no shame at all, Shota? And like a demon, he's just rushing towards him. And you got Shota. I don't know if he's using any ice abilities here or not like I can't really tell I think maybe like he's using it to slow his or if it's the fire burning for it like Dobby's fire like like the spider the health spider or whatever like and then you got burning jumping in and she's like in terms of firepower he surpasses even an end of art but at these temperatures and uh yeah Dobby's like you had the perfect body the perfect training environment and even then you chose to cling to others You've had everything since you were born, but you weren't man enough to own it. Someone had to tell it to you like it is, brother. You can't even act as a puppet correctly. And yeah, he kicks Shota up into the air and he blasts him like, like you'll never become a hero. And he blasts him with one of his attacks. And like a laser beam, he shoots him straight into through a building. And you'd think that would have done a massive damage, right? Like he's like telling him straight up, burn. But it doesn't because he's just like, you're right. Shoulder starts talking to him from inside the building and he's walking up. And it looks like he he, he used maybe ice to sort of block the flames. Or maybe he used his own flames. It's like steam. It looks like there's steam and smoke coming out. But it's like white smoke. So it might be ice. And Darby's like, did he just neutralize all that heat? I'm a, You're right. I'm a loser. For the longest time, I couldn't find my way. And I thought of myself as nothing but a fool. I thought you only cared about dad. But knowing that you were also observing me all this time it makes me happy so yeah uh again i can't really tell the way the drawing's done if, if shota is using flames or ice I, I like to think he's using a mix of both maybe but yeah this revelation that darby was keeping a close eye on shota and I, that makes shota at least somewhat happy that oh at least at least you know my my big brother whatever was keeping an eye on me in his own sadistic way at least he was watching and uh, he's you know shota's like i was always chasing after everyone and in the process, I finally figured out. We get all these flashes of Shota during these early times. You know, back in the tournament. Back when he was, uh, well, I don't know who, who this is he's fighting. He's fighting someone here. Uh, and then when he was with, uh, what's his name, Bakugo and uh, Iro, Ido, Idora Deku, basically. And then following uh, Endobar, I think, during the training. And the process, I finally figured out. Flash fire. So yeah, uh, basically Shota has figured out his own way of doing flash fire. Basically, I developed this technique all by myself. A move created specifically to defeat you. And we get this. We get this moment uh, where Shota is talking to Endeavor just before the final battle. Basically, as they're in the planning stages, and he's like, "Shota, you don't have to do this. Let's let's." And he's on the phone with Endeavor, and he's like, "Shota, you don't have to do this. Let's reconsider the distribution." And and, and then what about all for one? Among the remaining heroes, you're the only one who can stand against him right now, which is a fact. Yeah, like Endeavor needs to be there in that fight against all for one. Just as Midoriya is the only one who can stop Shigaraki. Again, yeah, like there's specific people that need for specific tasks like I too am the best pick to stop Toya in his tracks not only that I want to be the one to do it that's my uh, and uh, I think this might be end of our saying this and it's like that's my duty and it's like we'll do it together we will all do what we must and stop not only my brother but every single villain so it's, it's nice for Shoto to grow as this person who's like taking this responsibility like end of our was not the one telling him you should stop uh Toya, no, no, uh, Shoto was the one saying, I'm the one who's going to stop him, you're going to stop all for one, like, you're going to go into that fight, I'm going into this fight, like, those guys need you, I need to be here, like, that's what's going to do, uh, and, and it's not, it's nice, it's nice to get sort of that, it's a nice growth for his character to basically take responsibility, to take charge, basically, and be like, yo, I'm doing this, you do that, there's something your stupid uh, uh, brother wants to, t wants to tell you too, yes, our house was hell, and yeah, our father was insane, but you're the one that decided to walk the path of murder. So yeah, like, and then we get Shota just going into his flash fire fist mode, basically. And he's like, don't you ever again dare to steal the lives of people who had nothing to do with your downfall. And Darby's just like losing a damn golden boy. Like, he's just jealous. He's just jealous of Shota for getting everything that he basically didn't. Uh... And uh, shoulder goes for an attack on his brother, and he's like, "Take it all out on us instead." So yeah, this is a nice sort of a uh, way of shoulder demonstrating how he's in the right and how like I get I get Dobby's 
uh, reasoning for why he did what he did, but Shota here isn't the right when he says this. It's like, you killed a bunch of innocent people who had nothing to do with what happened to you. Like, you chose to be a freaking killer and murderer. Like, that's the difference between us. Like, I could have gone down the same path. I didn't because, you know, right and wrong, right? You know, there's 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 methods. There's different methods of uh, doing what you want as a villain and, and different methods of doing what you want as a hero, etc., etc. You... You chose to go down that path, like he says, he doesn't even say you chose to go down the path of a villain or what, he just says you, you decided to walk the path of murder, like, I feel like that's such a more powerful way of saying it, I mean, look at Gentle Criminal, like, he considers himself a villain, but I don't think he's ever going out of his way to, to try and kill or hurt anyone specifically, do you know what I mean, like... Well, do you know what I mean? Like, like that, that, that's the sort of difference between those characters, like the different kind of villains that we've got. Even Stain, for Christ's sake, he, he's a hero hunter. He killed heroes, yes, but he never tried to kill innocent people. Like, he always kept it sort of pacific. Like, and that's sort of, with Darby, is like, he's just straight up a freaking serial killer, like, if you think about it. Like, he is. He's a straight up murderer. Like, he, you know, he's just going around hurting people for the fun of it. So to see Shota like getting angry, getting pushed, like like he was, he, he seemed pretty calm before all of this, but he, he's losing it. Like at this point, he's he's really pissed off because it's like, like he's trying. It's, it's a nice comparison, basically, of him trying to like trying to like differentiate the two of them. Like this is me and this is you. Like and I love that. I love seeing that. It's like and I love that he's losing his cool as well. Like while he's going to that big uh, flash fire mode, not not fire flash flash fire fist mode, and saying this, and it's like yeah. No, yeah, like, yeah, that's a good bloody point. Good for you. And he goes for that attack, and it's called uh, Fer Fersifros or something. Fersifros. So I don't know if this is a mix of fire and uh, ice, basically. I'm hoping it is, uh, but again, the way this is drawn, I can't really tell. Um, but I think it is a it is a mix of uh, ice, uh, ice maybe, or maybe maybe this is fully ice. Maybe he's using it. It's not fire, so it's like fire and ice meeting. Maybe I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it's called Flash Fire, for Christ's sake, so surely there's some fire mixed in there, right? But, uh, I'm loving this, and, it's, and it ends with stopping with everything you've got. So, yeah, we're, we're straight up into this fight between Darby and, and Shota, basically. And, yeah, so we've got the Toga and, uh, uh UVT and Froppy fight, and we've got Shota versus Darby, and you've got Ida there. And then we've got uh, the fight with All For One, which we haven't really gone into yet with Endeavor and the others. And then we've got the Shigaraki fight with Bakugo and Mirko. And then you've got uh, Deku still racing to get there. Um, at the moment, uh, personally, I feel like this this fight is pretty much going to end with Darby going all out of control of his fire. And then Shota basically being the one to put him out using ice, essentially. Like, he's going to use fire maybe to absorb all the attacks, launch it back at him or not. And use ice to to try and bring him down. And maybe when Darby starts losing and he starts burning up all again, and he's dying, Shota's going to use the opportunity to save his life as well and stop him. So I feel like that's what, where where this fight personally is going to head into. With with Toga and Uvity and that uh, that that you know that uh, twice his blood uh, is that Sand Panda Parade or whatever it was called that has to come into play, right? So I'm I'm trying I'm curious how that's gonna, what role that's going to play, especially considering what Toga is of all places. Like, how is that going to cause any kind of damage when you're basically in the middle of a freaking ocean, right? And then uh, with uh, All For One and versus, versus all those other heroes, I do feel like those guys are gonna lose. I, I feel like I feel like the final battle makes more sense to be to be Deku and maybe Bakugo versus All For One. That's just my personal thinking. Uh, I do think Shigaraki is gonna you know beat the crap out of everyone in that fight until Deku arrives to to basically take him on and beat him finally. And then we're going to get the final battle, which is going to be with All For One. He is, now, All For One is definitely going to win against the, against the heroes. He's definitely going to win against Endeavor, etc., etc. But I do feel like the, like the actual final battle will be between Deku, Bakugo, and, and maybe Shigaraki, if he can somewhat turn him enough to realize that All For One is using him and maybe, maybe sort of help them sort of get like... This isn't a character like I, I want 100% redeem. This is a character I want to sort of realize this guy is newsing me. He's newsed me all my life. I'm going to screw this dude over. Like, I'm going to help these guys. But he's going to die in the process. Uh, so maybe we can get something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But I'm curious where, where all of this is going to go. I'm curious how this is all going to end. Like, how many chapters do we have left? I think this is like, what, one volume 35 now maybe? Uh, let me just double check on this actually. Because I got, I got a feeling maybe we'll get up to volumes 40, maybe. So that would give us a rough estimate of how 
of how much longer of a series we got. Because sometimes manga curs, they like to be very precise with their chapter numbers or volume numbers, if you will. So it, it gives you a nice inkling of where they might want to go with the story in that. So the last volume officially to come out, I think, was 33. And then there's 34, and then there's a bunch of chapters still not in the formats, basically. And uh, let, let me let me count how many chapters usually we get in a, in, a, in a volume, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that was for 32, and then 33 had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you get, you get roughly about 10 chapters, right? So... Uh, from 329 we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as I was saying uh, I was talking about the volume ones we got like 10 per volumes I think so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so that's volume that would be volume 34 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then we got about volume 30 so yeah we're, 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 we're pretty much on volume volume 36 at this point um and yeah, I think I think I think we will go for a total of forty volumes, uh, basically. So yeah, roughly we have. I'm, I'm assuming at this point we have roughly about fifty chapters left until the story ends. So fifty chapters to go. How long are these individual fights going to take, though? That's the question. That's the question, isn't it? I do think they will go fast, maybe like. But the fact that it's it's switching places from here to here to here is sort of like, uh, oh my god, like how's this last? How's this going to be done? How's this going to last? But uh, I, I think it's all about setting the individual fights up, basically. And I think at this point they are. The only one we, we haven't seen who they're fighting is... Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, wow, what's that What's that dude's name? The lizard dude. Slade, Striker, no. Oh my god, I can't... I've, I've, been say, I've been saying his name the whole time and now I've forgotten. Like, wow. Wow. Uh... Spinner, Jesus Christ! How do I forget that Spinner? We we don't know what Spinner is at this point. We know he's got like a whole bunch of villains with him, but we don't know where he is, and we don't know who's gonna fight him. Personally, I'm hoping it's Slade. I really do. I want to see. I want to see past villains who can be redeemed, maybe to come back and help out. And I definitely want to see Slade take on Spinner. It, it would just make very poetic, theatric sense. For the guy that inspired him to be taking him on, be like, yo, you're you're not walking the path that I was walking. You've you've tarnished, corrupted what my message was. This isn't what I meant. Like, I'm taking you down, yeah? Like, I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping it's uh, Slade versus Spinner. And god damn it, I want I want Gentle Criminal and La Bravo in this. Like, how are they still not like how are they not being brought back to help out? Like like I'm still crossing my fingers we got we get those characters because I really do like those characters actually like uh, you know as flawed as season four might have been I thought that was one of the better arcs and that was one of the better villains they were fun villains I don't even really consider them villains to be honest they were like they were like anti villains basically like I really want those to come back and get their moment to shine as heroes basically if they can like I'm hoping Horigashi does not forget them I'm hoping we don't get this last minute cameo or whatever like we got in Bleach where it's like oh yeah Sukiyomi uh, 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 whatever is back there you go boom done go on it's like no I want these guys involved in a decent way do you know what I mean but with 50 chapters to go in my at least I'm assuming uh, it's going to be a case of you know what 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 heroes what characters are going to get the, the big moments and what characters are going to get the lime sort of moments and what characters are going to get like little cameo moments like it and you, as we can see from the way this final battle has started, a lot of certain characters have appeared, have gotten their little moments here and there, and other characters are just like, like in the background. But like, I'm hoping everyone gets their moment to shine in this. I want this to be a climax where it's like everyone got their hit in, everyone got their moment to like their panel time, their screen time. They got like a completed character arc, if that makes sense. But seriously, like if I don't get Slade versus Spinner at best, I'm going to be very disappointed, so, you know, fingers crossed we get that, like, I really do hope we get that, but yeah, overall, this was a decent chapter, not one of my favourites, honestly, it was nice we got Dobby's backstory last, like, last chapter, but this one, it's just more of like, yo, you're, you know, I'm jealous of you, blah, 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 I'm going to kill you, like, that's pretty much what it amounts to, and, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of getting boring now at this point, like, like, Let's move on to another fight now. I want to see what's going on with uh, All For One at this point, or, or even Shigaraki and where Deku is. Like, come on, come on, let's 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 move it, if you will, right? Uh, very curious to see where this is going to go. Very curious. Anyway, 
I hope you guys liked my review for this. As always, remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.